Hello everybody, my name is Rafael and I'm an analontist. But more importantly, I like to learn new things. Let's talk about how does a dentist fill a cavity. But first, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you were here before, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, normally I just do root canal treatments, but it's time to learn some new skills and I'm going to show you step by step how I do a filling. In this case I am restoring a broken amalgam filling, a metal filling, um, and the total treatment time was a little over an hour, but don't worry, I reduced it to 10 minutes for this video. So sit back and enjoy. As you can see the teeth are isolated with a rubber dam, which is essential to place a new good filling. Okay, let's get started. First off, we need to remove the old metal filling. Notice that I try to remove the material in as large pieces as possible. Throughout this video, I am going to speed up parts of it in order to keep the length of the video to something watchable for you. The metal filling is now removed and you may notice some darker spots. This is not caries. Dentists check this with a probe. If it sounds hard and it feels hard, it is not caries. We call it Cridaladontin. You will now hear me checking this. The next step is the placement of a matrix. This makes sure that we can have a good contact point between the filling and the neighboring tooth. The matrix is now in place, but it needs to adapt a little bit better, hence I am using some teflon tape to put it better into place. Next, I will etch with some phosphoric acid to make the enamel susceptible to bonding. The bonding is basically the glue between the filling and the tooth. After I remove the etching gel, I am turning on my yellow filter. Why am I doing this? The actual bonding liquid and the white filling material are triggered by blue light. But even in normal light, uh, there is some blue light. By working under this yellow filter, I make sure that my white filling material is not going to set before I have had the time to shape it. Bonding is ready, time to start filling.
And we are slowed down again. The base has now been built and I'm going to show you the time it takes to simply shape the final layer of one cusp. I'm doing this on purpose because by now some of you who are still watching this may be wondering if it is normal that you get a filling in 10 minutes. It is not. By no means I'm an aesthetic dentist. Fillings are not my core business and I'm sure that with a lot of practice I could do this faster, but I think you get the point. Filling is now in place, time for finishing and polishing. I use quite a lot of instruments for this, but the idea is to create smooth edges so you can floss without tearing the floss itself. If you watched the video until the end, thank you, it means a lot. If you liked the video, hit like, hit subscribe and turn on the notifications and I will see you in the next video.